Hey everyone, I'm Jen Yoko, and today I'll be showing you how to get started drawing digital art by using Krita. You're probably wondering why I look a little different. Well, guess what? I discovered the key to changing one's form and becoming a cartoon character out of the blue. And guess how I did it? By using Krita! It's free and it's easy to use, so let's get started! Before I begin, I'd just like to give you guys a quick note that Krita is only used for PC, Mac, and Linux systems. So sadly, you can't use it on your phone or your tablet. Aww. So just a quick disclaimer right here. All right, let's download Krita. All right, open up that Google search and type in Krita. And it should be the first one that pops up. You get right away, get Krita now. Click this bad boy button. And just click this one, Windows Installer, because I have a Windows operating system. And click Windows Installer and download. All righty. Once you have it downloaded, just extract it here. You want it in English. Click Next. I accept the terms and services because this is the legal jargon that will allow you to use it. I recommend that you read this. All right, just click Next. And Next, just click all of the above. Install. I don't want a desktop icon. I like it empty and then we're ready to go. Wait till it installs, and I'll see you in a second. All right, now that I got it installed, I didn't put an icon on my desktop, so all I have to do is type in Krita in the search on my desktop, click it. If you have it, if you click the desktop icon, it'll show anywhere on the desktop. But here we go, Krita's loading up. We got a nice, beautiful render artwork by Tyson Tan. And bam, it's open and ready to go. Now that Crit is open, we want to get started drawing right away. So you'll see a start here in a community. We want to focus on start, so click new file. It will open up create new document for Krita. We want to stick with the custom because again, we want to get started right now. Leave everything that you see as is, click create. All right, here's the interface for Krita on the left here. You have tools. And on the right, you have layers, which are very important. And then we also have brushes. And the color. Now, just so you guys know, if an object is selected, that means it's turned on. So right now I have the brush tool. So the brush tool looks exactly like a brush. And when it's selected, it will be highlighted. All right, just to prove my point, I want to erase this. So I have an eraser icon up here. When I press it, it's highlighted. So I'm just going to erase everything on my canvas. Now, you can't just press brush again and it'll be ignored. You need to press the eraser one more time and turn it off. So that way you're back to regular brush. Next, brush size. You're probably wondering why my brush is big and it's small. Well, there's a couple ways to do it. At the top here is brush size. So if I go to the top and I just move this left and right, it'll make my brush big and small. The faster way to do this is on your keyboard. On your keyboard, there's a open bracket for small and a closed bracket for big. So again, Close bracket is big, open bracket is small. Huge difference right there. Also, there's pressure sensitivity. So I'm drawing really lightly. And as you can see, it's really light. If I draw, if I press harder, it's gonna look harder, just like a regular paintbrush. And as you can see here, 
on the right, I have a brush, an actual brush tool selected. It cleared the canvas again. Let's talk about layers really quick. So on the layers are super important. They're kind of like individual pieces of paper that are clear. So if I were to draw on the background layer, for instance, I'm gonna unlock this. If I were to draw a smiley face of some, of some kind and I were to erase it, I unfortunately can see the background. I'm gonna press Command Z a few times to go backwards. So I don't ever wanna draw on the background layer. I want my background layer nice and clear. We are gonna go paint on our paint layer, but I wanna add another one. So if I press this plus button, it will add a brand new layer. And what I'm gonna do is label the layers. We're gonna draw something really quick and color it in, okay? So if I label my layer, all you have to do is double click on the name. I'm gonna draw, make this uh, uh, line art. And then under it, I'm gonna call this one color, okay? So make sure you pay attention to what layer you're on. So if I'm on color and I start to color, it's gonna be one big gobbledygook thing. So like for instance, if I were to draw this character here, this little smiley face, and I were to color on top of it. Oh no, I I messed up. If I'm gonna try to erase. Oh shoot. I could command Z it, but it's best to color under your lines. So let me show you how to do that. All right, I'm gonna walk you guys through step by step on how to do this lucky cat. Okay, I'm gonna change the background color. I'm gonna make it a dark gray. This is easier for my eyes. And I'm gonna go all the way to the left hand panel, select the fill and bam, now it's gray. I'm gonna lock the layer so I'm not making a mistake. So pardon my hair, it's blocking, but it's locked. Okay, so don't touch it. You know it's locked because there's a big red no-no mark. All right, let's start our sketch. I'm gonna press B for brush and always check your tools panel. I know I have brush on because on the left-hand side here, the brush is selected. I'm gonna select this pen tool here. It's called Ink-3G Pen, okay? I am going to make a quick sketch. And I'm gonna make a circle for a big head. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna put a line down the middle. And then I'm gonna make a little body, a tiny little body. Uh-oh, it looks like I'm a little too far down. What I'm gonna do to move it up is see this little square here? It's called a transform a layer or a selection. You could press Control T, and it'll give these bounding boxes. I'm gonna move it up just a smidge, okay? And then press Return or Enter. Enter on a PC, Return on a Mac. And I wanna go back to B for Brush, okay? So I'm gonna press B for Brush, we're back on track. All right, I'm gonna put a line through the middle just so I can indicate the eyes. And I'm gonna put the ears in. I'm gonna put a label for the ears. So two little marks here and two little marks there. I wanna make sure that they're like close to each other. All right, cool. I am going to make the lucky cat's eyes close. So I'm gonna make the brush thicker, really thick, and then a little wisp really thick. Make it like an N, like a lowercase n, almost. And remember, I'm making my brush small with the little bracket and then the big bracket, okay? Or up here, the size up at the top, close to the right-hand corner. All right, I'm gonna make the ears. I'm gonna go up. And then I'm gonna curve just a little bit. I'm not gonna go down like this. I'm gonna curve a little bit at the top and bring it down, okay? Same thing here, angle it. I'm gonna curve at the top a little bit and bring it down. 
Awesome. We're almost there. I'm going to bring in the ears. It's going to be thick on the inside and thin on the in and on the out. So again, thick on the inside and thin on the out. Nice. Gonna make the cheeks a little bolder. So we're gonna extend the cheeks just a little bit. Neat. Make a cute, tiny little nose. Bring the mouth down a little bit. Make a little oo-woo face. You could do whiskers like this. One, two, three. And then some hairs at the top, because cats have wispy hairs at the top. Put a little fang, because it's a cat. And then we're going to make a little bell collar. So I'm going to make a little line here and a little line there. And go all the way across and draw a circle in the middle. Neat. Now, for the paw, I'm going to make a circle on the side. Bring the, the circle a little closer here. So it's like right touching the face and then bring it out. Add the paws. And then we're gonna add a little paw here. So bring a line out here and a line out here. Add the paws, bring out the feet, add circles here and a circle here. Add some paws there, add some paws there. And there you have it. You have a sketchy lucky cat. All right, now we're gonna outline. Okay, to outline and clean up, we're going to lower the opacity in the layers tab right here on the right. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on paint layer one, lower the opacity to about 50%, then go to the layer above it. I'm gonna double click on it, and do outline. Okay, I'm selecting here for the brush, I'm selecting the Ink 2 Fine Liner. If you hover over any of these, you will get the names of each pen or brush or pencil. I'm increasing the size to about 24 pixels and, or 24 points, whatever. And I'm going to outline I'm gonna take my time and I will be right back. All right, I'm just gonna do a little refining it's a little messy on the outline, but I wanted to keep it simple for you guys. I'm holding down spacebar as I move, and I want you guys to just see, you know, some little things. I made sure everything was closed. The lines are a little wobbly, but we're going to work with it. And I want to smooth things out just a little bit. I went through the outline, I went in, and I made sure to, you know, remove some things. Like, the, the neck is a little big. I'm just going to lower it just a little bit and smooth it out. Now that we have our kitty cat all ready to go, let's color him in. To color him in, I want my outline on the top. So my outline on the top, and we're gonna ignore this. I turned it off with the eyeball. So just so you know, if you have the eyeball, you can turn it off and on. I'm gonna make a new layer and name this, double click on the name and name it color. And select this color here. And then you could color your kitty cat in regularly like so. And I like to give all of my art a base color. So what I'm gonna do is to continue and color this guy in, I'm gonna give it a base color, okay? One good thick base color. One last thing. If I don't like this color, I'm gonna select the white. 
my monitor apparently is off by quite a bit. So I see gold. <laughs> and this does not show gold. So I'm going to make it a white cat. So bam. Now we have a white kitty cat. I just took the bucket tool, selected the white, and I can just change the colors as I see fit. All right, my friends. I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be making more tutorials in the future. Have fun, happy drawing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!